Blessings, everyone. This is Sandra Walter, coming to you from Sedona, back in Sedona now. Uh, I've had quite an experience, and I wanted to share some information that I've been receiving about the energetic shifts in May. I wrote about this last week. It's quite important <laughs> and uh, for the ascension process. Everything I talk about is for the ascension process, depending on where you are in your journey and depending on how open you are to embodying certain levels of ascension. Uh, we're, we're about to get, well, we're in the middle of it right now, in this triple eclipse portal, last full moon, May 10th, May 25th, another gateway that's opening up uh, very specific energies. Now, during the equinox, we had that, that perforation of those interdimensional portals opening up, and I wanted to explain exactly what's going on for, for clarity, because you might be hearing this from a lot of channels or, or other folks talking about the, the energies are picking up. And, you know, when we say, oh, the energy, energies are going to be really, really strong or really powerful, what exactly is everyone talking about? All right, let's get specific. Um, and this might be a little technical, so, so indigos, hang in there. <laughs> and I'll talk about my personal journey. Uh, I, I just went to Chaco Canyon, which was incredible. And, and the things that are happening in my personal journey, um, I would also like to share. But I'm going to share those in the second half of this video. So we cut straight, straight to the chase now. Um, because it is important. And preparation, as always, is, uh, is the key to receiving, balancing, and assisting humanity and Gaia in this ascension process. But we're in for and are in the middle of a big energetic change. And if you want your sensitivities uh, to those energetic changes to, um, to be taken up a notch, um, take the Ascension course. All right, here we are. <clears throat> During the equinox, right prior to the equinox, we had a release of a layer of density. And those who have been um, following me or, or others that talk about that, it was like this big veil was being lifted, preparation for the equinox. That's going on again right now. And that lifting of that layer of density might feel like chaos in your personal life stream, feels like you can't get anything done, things are weird, you're feeling emotional and everything. For those of us who are in the last stages of ascension, who are ready to embody that, that crystalline consciousness, there's always going to be some core stuff that, that needs to be taken away, that needs to be surrendered. And I know I shared um, right after my, my gatekeeper experience last November, that experience that I had with, with Michael and, and Yeshua removing you know, those parts of, of the ego from me that were still identifying with the responsibility for other people's consciousness and, and things like that. We're going to be looking at those core issues right now and busting up a lot of the being responsible for everyone else, taking responsibility for our own consciousness, our own journey, really investing the, the time and the effort in getting rid of the stuff that is just not serving any longer. And not only is it not serving your own journey, but it's not serving the collective. So that's why it's being ousted right now. All the stuff that we talk about when we're like, oh, I wish the dark were gone. All right, well, it's it's that you know this is unity consciousness when you start realizing that the 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 end game that's this playing out right now is is all about releasing that which doesn't serve the collective it's going to hit your own live stream and i know i wrote about this last month i was like take a look at what is being busted up what is being tried right now is a reflection of what's going on in your own live stream always is, always has been. You can you can deny that that dark stuff has nothing to do with you as long as you want. But here we are and we're we're in the middle of it. So it's it's always going to parallel what's occurring in your own live stream. Sorry, hold on. Let me grab a pillow so I don't break my feet. Okay. So what what's occurring right now? The work that I've been doing uh is and and just to tap into my personal journey just for a second. Just a little bit the, the work that I've been doing is, is gatekeeper work. And gatekeepers are, are folks who prepare, open the gateways. Uh, you don't choose who's going through, but you do your best to, to assist those who are, are choosing to walk through, who want that, who desire that. And again, ascension is a choice. 
you know, evolution will push you around as, as much as you want, or you can ignore it altogether and, and have a completely different reality. But ascension is always a choice. So if you, um, and even in the course we go through that, what do you want out of your ascension? What's your goal? What do you want? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to experience? And it will keep expanding as you go on. You know, it can be freedom. It's always about freedom, freedom from the illusion. But there are, there are so many layers being peeled back right now. And for a lot of us, uh, gatekeepers especially who are doing this kind of work where you're opening up these these gateways, portals, vortexes, whatever you want to call it. If you're called to a to a sacred site right now, or if you've been avoiding that trip to the to the sacred site, you might want to do it now. I'm I'm getting messages from from friends, even my my ancient friend Daniel, who if you were in the e course, you know who Daniel is. So even Daniel, you know, calls me from Switzerland. He's like, I'm going to Stonehenge and Avebury. I don't know why. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, brother, this is, this is it. You know, we're, we're all being called to different spots. And when you get there, sometimes things show up that are just incredible. We're getting a peek at our, our self as source, the true divine human. All of that talk about templates, all of the people are seeing, ooh, the, the series right now. You're seeing these. 444, you look at the clock, it's 244, you're seeing, you know, 441, frontwards, backwards, you're seeing it all day long, 10, 12, 44. This is, this is because this is what is happening right now. I talked about that when, when we were taking a look at, at the Boston numbers, we're like, hmm, 144, look at that. It's a warning, you know, it's a, it's a heads up to the dark, and it's a, it's a indication, we should be at that level now, where we can, we can, look at that and go, uh-huh, yep, time. It's time. This is an activation. And whatever stories you you believe, take a look at the stories you believe, whether you think it's 144,000 folks from, from Venus, whether you think it's 144,000 original souls, whether you think it's just an encodement, there is an opportunity, no matter where you came from, there's an opportunity for many of us, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a little bit of separation right here, Obviously, there is an excessive amount of consciousness embodied on the planet right now. There are certain certain folks who are who are here assisting, you know, walk-ins, ETs, folks like that, who are doing incredible work. It is still up to the grounded humans that had to wake up and go through the process to activate this. This doesn't get done by somebody else, it gets done by you. You and your desire, you work with those beings as much as you want, but it is still up to you. This is, you know, this is the, the end of the mastery game that we're going through right now. And part of the mastery, as I said in the course, is hands off my ascension. You know, it's, it's I use the metaphor of the, 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 the guy who, who breaks up with the girlfriend and, and he's, so, he's so troubled. He's like, don't let me talk to her. Don't, whatever I do, don't let me talk to her. You know, we're at the end of that. Don't do it for me. I want to do this myself. So here, here we are. You know, it is up to the grounded humans to do this. If, if anyone is still hung up on a mass landing or whatever, I'm going to talk about the ET connection in, in the second half of this. But, but let's, let's get real about this. This is, this is it. You know, for, for those of us, and again, here's, here's the separation. Obviously, not everybody is here to have the exact same journey. It doesn't even make sense. Not everyone is here to have the exact same experience. The, the tales of, of you know, going through the, the, the photon belt and everything has changed, and some people are going to go crazy, and some people are, are going to ascend. Yeah, of course. I doubt it will happen in a three-day sequence. I do think that this activation... This, this Christed activation has to do with, with three days of, of some kind of very bizarre internal rewriting. You know, we had a little preview of that back in December, but, um, but it's coming again. You know, the, the threes are magic, always. So it's always a three-day thing. But, um, but it's not going to be as... I, I don't feel it's going to be a specific day for everybody. Look out, May 25th, this is it. And if I didn't get it, no. This is you commanding welcoming this in. If you want it, here it is. Okay, okay, we're back. So what's happening during this triple eclipse portal? 
Well, in the, make sure you can see this. Here's Gaia. Our experience of Gaia right now. Crystalline grid at the fifth dimensional level. Fifth dimensional level, woo, getting perforated by interdimensional portals since uh, early March. Okay, and as she gets, as, as these, you know, this, this is the, the 40 thing, the veil, the void, uh, you know, we're in, in the midst of astral collapse. I don't want to explain that again, take the course. But the, the perforation starts letting in that fifth dimensional frequency, and it starts doing things like the energy that was coming in on the equinox. You know, layers of density start getting released. And it, it, you, you could feel it if you're sensitive. It feels like a big wave, or if you're sitting on Mount Shasta, it feels like a big wave of energy getting released. You're like, whoa, okay. Still, still happening, but now in a more dramatic way. So what is occurring is these, these portals start perforating 5D. And what it does is the folks that got that captured codes on the 12, 12, 12, uh, and, and we, we deliver them to the crystalline grid. These, these are now getting shot into the folks that said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm willing, and, and helped out. Took on the codes, put them in to the core of Gaia, and she you know, miraculously took them, and, and now she's, she's got this crystalline grid hanging out here to expand this version, this little 3, 4D version that we have down here. Officially for, all right. Expanding our experience, you know, this is we have a collective reality running right now that is creating a life, life on a body on a planet. You know, the you know Gaia has has left the building. So if we want this higher experience of of the true Gaia, uh, this this is where we're going. We're taking all of this with us. I haven't heard anything lately about a sharp division, although there's some people that are just so uh, on autopilot, and I think, I think you know, on a galactic level, there's a lot of volunteers playing that right now, too, and they might even be in your own family monad, so, so try not to, um, try not get, to get too attached that if I'm Syrian, then my entire family is Syrian, and we're all going, you know. Let's, you know, this is the, like I said, Scooby-Doo ending. Wait till the end, and then you're like, oh, my God, George Bush, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm sorry to pick on George. It's just too easy. All right. So here is, um, and, and a lot of love for that soul, by the way. You know, no, no discretion here. Let's just, good. we're all good. All right. So the 12-12-12 the encodements that people captured in their heart center, right on the crystalline grid. These crystalline encodements right now, with that 144, you know, we're, we're taking them with us because Gaia was ascending. So some of us captured those, had our own little little ascension, you know, very, very uh, anchored higher self in that fifth dimensional new earth realm. And then here, here we are carrying these codes. We also delivered them to the crystalline grid so that when Gaia ascended, she's she's got all that. You know, that's home. That's that's the, the new home is uh, has all those encodements. So when these portals start piercing that fifth dimensional zone, they're delivering a fifth dimensional frequency. Again, it's photonic, demands order, demands truth, demands dispelling all the illusion, dissolvement of suffering. And it feels intense for a lot of folks. Just like, why is it getting so crazy? Because it's a game. Because it's an end game. Because it has to look crazy. Because there's, you know, you're, you're cornering a wildcat that now has, has no master and is, is on a planet. And it's, it's like cornering a bully. Like I've, I've used that metaphor before cornering a bully who doesn't know when to stop. And you're like, no, really, game's over. And, and they're still flailing. You know, and you can, you can participate in the bully's reality as long as you want. Eventually it will disappear. You know, that's just the way it is. 
However, no judgment on the bullies. You know, when I say I love George Bush, it just means like, you know, on a, on a soul level. I'm not going to get into that. I got into that in the course. Okay, so so here we are. Fifth dimensional frequencies coming in, coming in strong. And how are they coming in? So now we have gatekeepers, grounded folks, who are being guided to, to open portals or open gateways. 20 minutes? Okay. All right, so, so what's occurring? These, uh, what, what used to be, those little pinpoints, gatekeepers, turning them into a giant corridor, a giant gateway, using sacred sites, using your own backyard. I mean, it doesn't have to be a sacred site, but when you, when you want to experience uh, that, that kind of power, when you want to work with, you know, those of us who have volunteered to work with the elementals, to work with Gaia, to work with the kingdoms even in raising uh, and raising their vibration. This is, you know, this this is is a, a bit of heavy lifting. Oh, so exhausted. Really exhausting to be in like like Chaco Canyon, which is um, I can't wait to tell you about because it was an incredible experience. Hard as hell to get to. Oh my god, it's in the middle of of nowhere, New Mexico. I'm sorry if you live near there. But it's in the middle of a very secluded desert canyon, pure desert, nothing out there. And it's, it's 23, 25 miles uh, uh, of a drive over uh, what they call wash, washboard road for, for the monsoon flood season, which means, you know, here, here's the road and here's your tire. You know, you're, just, <laughs> you're just crawling. I, oh, I trashed my car. It was bad. But, um, you know, you're just crawling along. And it's 95 degrees during the day and 25 degrees at night. Pretty tough on the body for, for, for several days in a row. But, um, but regardless, you know, you get there and it's, a uh, Chaco is, you know, if anybody wants to go there, let, let's all rent a, a giant Jeep and go there because it's, it's, uh, it's quite incredible. It's quite challenging. It's nothing but rock. You know, there's nothing there. It's just a, this huge canyon and this ancient site. I'll put up some some photos right here. But uh, the the natives that were working right here, they were working in in many dimensions and with many galactic beings. I mean, their their kivas look like crop circles. You know, it's it's quite incredible. But when you when you get in there, you and you're and you're opening these gateways, which I explained a couple of videos ago. You start experiencing your self as source in a very unique way. Extremely powerful, just like there's there's so much letting go of what I what I was. And, and who I thought I was, and it's just, it's incredible for your personal journey, but the, the levels of this, this kind of gatekeeper role keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and then when it starts involving um, gal galactics, it gets, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's all here. You know, this is now. This isn't, there's, there's no... There's no wavering on, on the journey even allowed by, by myself anymore. I'm like, no, all the bullshit's over. You know, it's just, it's enough. Enough. And it's not a matter of, of you know, there's, there's always work to do. But when you become a conduit for pure service, and you become a conduit for pure source light intelligence, you stand on a, a very powerful spot like that, and command a gateway open, and incredible things start to occur within your own body, within the planet. I'll tell you what it feels like. So right here, let's say you're me standing at Grand Canyon, Chaco Canyon, Sedona, wherever. It doesn't matter. Joshua Tree, it, all, it happens in the same way in, in all of that. And you're expanding your energy fields out 
demanding the gateway, and the gateway comes right through you. You are the source of that portal, that vortex. You're, you know, if you're activating this, this becomes that divine encodement that is the gateway for all this stuff. And when you say, bring it, you know, pull in that high fifth dimensional, interdimensional light right through me, right into the planet, and you're using the, the same stuff that we used on the 12, 12, 12, bring it in and expand and accelerate. Bring it in, expand and accelerate. It's the same thing. And what it starts doing is you, you know, you start expanding your energy fields and the gateway gets wider and wider. And then you command, okay, this entire canyon, activate, be the true portal that you are, the true gateway that you are. Bring in. It's now. It's okay. And when you start giving permission for all of these sites to be activated beyond what a little cosmic light is going to do, it, it becomes very powerful with the intention to accelerate the shift in consciousness. In the highest interest of all concerned, speed up. We're doing this right now, which is why you're seeing so much chaos in the, in the news and the, and the, you know, I mean, the, the focus is so, I, I know, I know a lot of people are going through a tough, tough, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult, yeah, it's evolution, yeah, whatever, okay, of course it's going to be difficult, it doesn't have to be crippling, it doesn't have to be, let me whine about my process, no, we're done, we're done with that, of course, challenges, of course, of course there's going to be a 70 degree difference, in the, of course, there's going to be times when I almost did a video in the middle of, of uh, on the way to Chaco Canyon where I just wanted to like lay down and die. It was just like so hot and the road was so challenging and I'm, there's, things are rattling underneath my car. <laughs> things are like just dropping off of my car. I mean, it's just like, ka -dong, ka -dong, ka -dong, you know, I'm like, I, I can't do it. I can't. Okay. I just want to like lay down and 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 just you know let let the sun have its way with me and just sizzle into Chaco Canyon and then I'd be there forever. <laughs> it's just, of course that's not going to happen, but that's how you feel. And of course there's going to be challenges, but you don't give up. You know we're all we've got a little light warrior in us, you know. So it's um, it's always going to be challenging. So the old thing of well if it's challenging you're not doing the right thing. Excuse me, bullshit. Okay. There, things are going to be hard, and when you're when you're up uh, against a a challenge where where you can feel it, you're like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care what they throw at me. I don't care if my car breaks and I have to hike ten mile, twenty miles through the desert and crawl to Jocko Canyon. I'm getting there. Ain't nothing going to stop me. You know that kind of stuff comes up in you, and and it's and it's laughable when you're like. I just can't take it anymore, you know, because your brain's getting fried by <laughs> desert heat. Yeah. Uh, I, again, I'm not a desert person. I'm just like, why me? Why? You know, Chaco is just like, it, it was, but it was incredible. Well worth it. And and had a raven the size of a, a two-year-old flying over that site and, and calling during the entire activation. It was really incredible. So... So what's happening is when you're when you're volunteering to be that pure conduit, that pure source light, and it does have to do with solar heart activation, I'll get to that later. But when you're opening these gateways, you're activating and accelerating every particle of that area and expanding it out. The you know, nobody needs to activate sacred sites. They've been used forever. Now we're using them for something new. So, so what's occurring now is these gateways are wide open. And what happens is you, if enough people on the planet open up these gateways and command that, we end up, you know, crystalline grid, again, made up of those divine human hearts and all the encodements. We start expanding out, you create enough resonance, you create enough in intention and enough activation, enough amplification of that true light that we create a, a magnet 
for an acceleration of the shift in consciousness. And it's something that we're, we're doing it right now. So if people are having difficulty with, with their own personal journey right now, surrender, let it go, clear it, learn how to clear out that stuff that isn't you, because there's, there's stuff to be done here. And a lot of it is so simple. You know, some, some of these sites, um, like uh, uh, Walnut Canyon, Meteor Crater, even El Moro, it's just easy, so easy. It, it's it's as if all the you know the the timeline. Oh, I'm getting the timelines too. You know the timeline that has been created for you to just show up at a certain time. You know, here's you know timelines. Sorry, this is again from the course. Sorry if you're bored if you're in the in the e-course, but here we are. So here here we are in this timeline. And down, down, you know, that when you're when you're playing with cosmic timing, it's like, okay, Sandra, if you show up here and activate this gateway on this spot, all these all these different things are gonna show up. You know, and that's just a, a timeline that I have chosen. You know, and it's continual. It's moment to moment. You're like, yes, that one, that choice, that timeline. Because when, when we look at collective timelines right now, we have one uh, in play right now that has a, a strong acceleration for the shift in consciousness. But it's it's more, um, you know, if you say I'm not a gatekeeper or whatever, you can still absorb the, the activation from this, this energetic gateway that's occurring right now. And it's pulling in that fifth dimensional light in such a strong way that thing we have opportunities now for for advancement again i'm just looking at some of my notes okay so releasing the layer of density check <laughs> uh, the eclipse the alliances yes the cosmic trigger obviously the eclipses okay fifth dimension of light north america getting a big activation um, why why north america i don't know if you've noticed but united states has some issues. Okay, we're like supposed to be the free kind. We're like more controlled than than a lot of places that look like they're controlled. So it's uh, wait. We have an opportunity to to wake up the U.S. again. Doesn't mean mass awakening. Might never mean mass awakening. Deal with how that feels. Mm, crap. Okay. Uh, what what we have an opportunity now to do is as this fifth dimensional light comes in and starts stimulating those templates, the 144, the stuff that came in on the 12, 12, 12. And when people saw those golden symbols coming in on the 12, 12, 12, this is what we're working with right now. You know, we're, it's cosmic timing. We're working with amplification of that. It affects the folks inside the planet, above the planet, everything. We're, we're getting into a very galactic sense. You're going to start feeling self as source. That is that unity consciousness, the pure unity consciousness, where you start uh, becoming that true creator that you truly are. You're going to feel like God. It's just the it's just the, the only way we can describe it right now. I feel like God. I feel like I can do anything. I feel like I'm extremely powerful. I also feel 100% benevolent, highest interest of all, neutral about the whole thing. This is um, kind of difficult to talk about. All right, the solar cosmic Christ. However you want to spell it, you know, that's the crystal, the crystalline state of consciousness, the stuff that was created billions of years ago, this has been a long time, that has been played with, and now we're, we're in this divine human phase of embodying the state of consciousness. It is a state of being, 
and it has to do with activating the Solar Heart Center, which has been going on since December. This is this is something that you know your your Solar Heart Center. Again, okay, there's a, there's a whole module on this in the course, but here we go. The God Box, the thir the thirteen twenty. Flip them. What do you got? Twenty thirteen. This is it. You know we're we're here. The 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 God Box. Energetic. When you start experiencing this, you know, you, you sit on the, on the edge of the Grand Canyon, you're like, <gasps> and it's, it's so natural, but it's right there. And these are in public places, you know, I haven't, I haven't been anywhere where there haven't been, you know, tourists walking around and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, does it matter? No, of course not. I'm going to do it anyway. People are like, oh, look at a freaky girl. So what? You know, it doesn't matter. This is this is going to be you know people can't even see you half the time. <laughs> I had a man walk through my leg. How is that even possible? When I was up on Cathedral Rock during the full moon, you know, I'm like sitting there playing the flute with a drum circle, wandered off on my own, meditating, watching like light ships. I'm like nobody else can see this. How is that even possible? Hanging out in in my zone, and these two you know half drunk hikers come through. And one of them just but just put his foot right through my leg, and I was like, "How how did the, how is that even possible?" Yeah. So so some interesting dimensional stuff going on. Solar cosmic Christ, your heart center. Sorry, this is turning into a, a module here, <laughs> but so be it. A little test for your your. Uh, Attention span. Okay, this is this is actually in, in a box. Ooh, can I draw it? Yeah. And there's one out the back. And then one out the front. All the, those symbols that you're seeing right now, some of us seeing right now, Maltese cross, anything. anything. You close your eyes and you, you've got this going on. you got spirals going on. Spirals are your your interdimensional portals. That's why all the, the native folks are, are drawing these all the time. You know, you've got spirals and like all these petroglyphs all over the place. Um, and, and that's why you're seeing them is because it's the activation of the interdimensional portals. We're losing the astral realm, fourth dimension altogether. And and during, you know, then the, you start going through and, and when you start going through, you're able to, to experience yourself uh, in a completely different way. W whether or not you, you relate to, to the whole God box idea of creation, the, the solar heart center is going to, is going to be... <laughs> right? Yeah, right where I have my pendant. Solar Heart Center, right here. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna, it might feel like a diamond because it does go up, down, side, side, front, back. Okay, and that is, uh, that relates to the, the God box. If you put a box around it, you would see that that's, you know, where your creation lies. Front, back, top, bottom, side, side. This Solar Heart Center is your is your gateway to what they call the cosmic Christ, the cosmic Christed state of beingness, the stuff that Emmanuel Yeshua uh, achieved. Um, when you when you when you say, okay, he was a cosmic being, you know, it can't be me. Um, gonna have to get over that, okay, because we are becoming that way showers who who achieved that state of consciousness and ascended after the body vehicle died um, it d taught us the way to to w what was possible and now many of us are going to get activated to show what is possible right here on the planet right here with humanity this is ex the exciting part for me it's I know it's going to be challenging to take on that state of beingness and be able to channel, be a conduit for cosmic light. Cosmic light. That is 
you know, it's not from one place or one certain, it's not channeling, it's being the cosmic light, connection with all that is, source, light, intelligence. When you start experiencing it, 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 can, it can be a little overwhelming, it depends on your emotional state. Um, I've been in awe of how it feels, but not in awe that it cripples me, <laughs> not in awe that it's like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening to me. You know, my, my emotions are, are, are pretty much under control now. You know, I, I still have a couple of things to, to get through in my personal journey, you know, housing, stuff like that. I'm like, really? Why does it have to be this hard? But it's, it's only hard to, to a point. And then stuff like this starts to happen. And it's, you know, you're like, okay, I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You know, our, our journeys are not going to look the same. But the opportunity for this fifth dimensional light that is coming in right now, again, a choice. If you would like to be one of the folks that accelerates the shift in consciousness, if you would like to be someone who is, um, if you feel that you're here to volunteer on that level, to bring this stuff in, uh, first of all, you got to let go of your ego, you know. And I've really, um, you know, I'm I'm done with people saying we were at Sedona and those were my portals. If you can't get over the I, mine, me thing, I mean, that is, it's us, all of it, dark, light, everything. Even the person saying, hey, those are my okay. Well, so it's got some a learning curve there. But this is, you know, you, you got to get over it. When you're in service, stuff is going gonna, is gonna to present. It's going to piss people off. You know, a couple months ago, we had lightworkers turning on lightworkers. I was like, what the hell is going on with the lightworkers attacking? You know, I'm getting attacked by other light servers, you know, and uh, like, what's it? And then I'm like, oh, brilliant. You know, just, just a tool, you know, it's like, who's, who's available that, that will, you know, that's still in anger and fear and everything that, that will, will e be easily swayed to attack somebody who's, who's trying to, to, trying to help. And, and there it was. I was like, okay, that does, no, no judgment on the people who got used that way, but still, it's, this is, this is something that you're, you're going to have the perspective when you get to this state of, it is what it is. Okay. All right. I see. I see what other people are trying to do. Does it matter to where I am? No. Because I know that the highest way that I can teach is to show, show people. I bring this in for, for over a year now. I'm like, I want the biggest, freakiest, widest, boldest experience that can be shared with the collective to show humanity what is possible. If, if you don't think that, that embodying this state of consciousness is challenging, you know, you can, you can sit back and watch, but don't think that it's easy. And don't, th don't think that the, the pushback on that kind of stuff is, is not, um, d doesn't get through. You know, we're still, uh, I still have feelings. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's very interesting. But, okay. Triple Eclipse Portal. Massive amount of fifth dimensional frequency coming in specifically to bust up this, this density that we have around the planet. This is, this is no longer the planet. Okay. Specifics, fifth dimensional gateways, opening and being expanded by gatekeepers, activating natural sacred sites, activating anywhere sites, portals, vortexes, activating cosmic Christ. Cosmic Christ Solar Heart Center, which looks more diamond shaped. 
these are the things that the, the fifth dimensional energy is pouring in. And because of these alliances with the folks inside, and that's all levels. You know, you've got Lemurians, you've got, you know, the, the folks beneath the Lemurians, and you've got, you know, uh, I think Drunvalo talks about, you know, plasma folks. We have we've got a lot of, of beingness being supported by, by this planet right now. And all of these folks, including us, know that the fifth dimensional expression of Gaia is, is inevitable and is busting up all of these, these third and fourth dimensional structures. Will everyone get to experience it? I still don't know. I still don't know how long people want to cling to, even a fourth dimensional thing. Um, I, have a, I have a feeling that um, the, the hybrid folks uh, may actually have a lot of uh, karmic stuff going on in, in 4D that needs to be healed. So, um, but but I'm uh, me personally, my my journey, my teaching, fifth fifth dimensional because that's where unconditional love resides. Um, this is and and that is my personal goal as well as a solution to all of the hoo ha that's going on on the planet right now. Um, do not worry about anything that has occurred in the past. You've got to get in the now. You've got to get in the moment. You've got to be so present. You know, you, you go to a, a sacred site or you, or you create a gateway right in your own backyard. Your, your presence has to be there. You can't be distracted by, I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to bust up this. Look at me, how wonderful I am has nothing to do with that. You know, I'm always wary of sharing some, some of my personal journey because, I, because people are so polarized. I don't want people to, to, to be like, oh, sure, you're doing this. Yeah, how do you get chosen? You choose yourself. I keep saying that over and over again. You choose. Do I want to expand my consciousness so I can hear and, and, and take direction from higher, my higher self, not something outside of myself, but my own higher self. When you expand your consciousness to that level and you get it and you understand it and you're able to let go of everything that you were and everything that has occurred on this planet and stop being so confused by stories of who we are and what we, where, we, where we come from, enough. What do you know? What do you know in your heart? If you are awake and aware and ascending, this, this stuff is, is available in a, a stronger way than ever. And as people start stepping into this Christed state of consciousness, uh, first of all, no, no judgment, okay? That's just ego. That's just ego. If everybody else on the planet gets activated in crystalline consciousness, and I do not, because I still have stuff to do, so be it. I ain't gonna, you know, get down on somebody else's journey because they went first. It takes work. And I honor where everybody is, is uh, you know, in their, in their journey. But we have an opportunity now. Those of you who are getting frustrated with, how come, how come it's not happening? First of all, you're not sensitive enough to know, to feel what is actually occurring on the planet right now. This is very intense. And it brings up a lot of fears, judgment, all the stuff that ain't you. It's not you. When you're still afraid to, to go into a public place and do a gateway activation, um, you, you gotta face that. And go, okay, what, where are my priorities? What am I doing? Am I afraid of judgment? Am I afraid of how I'm gonna look? Am I afraid of, of what's, what's gonna happen? Are people gonna look at me? The answer is yes. Does it matter? No. Sometimes they don't even see you. It's pretty incredible. All right. So, so this is this is what is available now. Fifth dimensional light coming in using a cosmic trigger. Big one right now. Nice, nice gateway. E triple eclipse. Boom. Here we go. During this gateway, this light is coming in. If you choose to open a gateway, even within yourself. To receive that, with the with the intent, please hold the intention to anchor it into the fifth, six dimensional crystalline core of Gaia. She's still got the same center, 
as as her you know it's it's just like I said with the the like the Russian dolls you know the the nesting dolls the center is still there just like the core of your beingness is still going to be that lower dimension and then you expand out so when you anchor your fifth dimensional self sixth dimensional self and your awareness there you're going to start experiencing yourself in many different dimensions and and it's it's fine but you do have to focus you're going to get flashes of all all kinds of things and literal flashes of light that that are you know it's it's non-stop it's brighter with your eyes closed than it is with your eyes open most of the time and when i came came back from chaco I, it was like a, a lightning storm just like you know completely getting rewired this is the divine template getting activated the divine human template the christed state of consciousness the solar heart center all of that stuff is getting a full blast of fifth dimensional frequency photonic light sometimes even higher you know this is like supreme light that some of us are working with and you're like oh, oh my god um wow pure source intelligence you know and this is the stuff that is going to accelerate the collective you get a few folks activating crystalline consciousness fully embodying that state and able to work with it game over you know this th we're done and we all know that's the last step and when i say it, when I, when i mentioned a couple videos ago about you know you're you're not the you're, you're not the victim you're the prize does that go for everyone no take a look around you know we have some some genetics some some beings that have volunteered to 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 be the the victim of the dark you know the the, the puppets or whatever and and thank you dear ones for for volunteering to play that role that that uh, you know some of us cannot you know could not possibly stay asleep if we tried just impossible but as as the the levels of light increase and you start holding that and you open those gateways and you start amplifying you in that Christed state of consciousness feeling the the direct line to source and some are going to say, oh, it's just your I am presence. You know, I am presence, what is that, 12th dimension? 12th dimension is collective. You know, that's the collective divine human that, that you're feeling. It's not just me and my I am. You know, you, you get above nine, it's, it's, it's unified. It's, it's collaborative. You know, there's no individual little pinpoint of light. You know, the highest expression that I am is source. You know, and, and the step down from there is a part of it, collective I am experiencing crystalline consciousness. And and I'm, I'm ready to take it on full force because when you start embodying that, no, not start, we've already started. When you do fully embody that by using these gateways and this energy, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. This is the stuff. This is why we are in the the little end game, you know, end of the marathon thing. I know it feels, you know, to use the marathon metaphor, I know it feels like you've been running the marathon and they just added 20 miles right before the finish line. I know it feels like that. Such is the mastery game. You know, if we thought we could just skate through this with what, one, one lifetime? You know, we've all been working on it for a long time. This is the one where you're like, wow, okay, but it is amplified. It is accelerating, speeding up, getting brighter. This is, you know, but but be mindful. Wow, I got a message back in 99. You're running, you know, when you're running this this marathon and you're you're pacing yourself. You know what you can do. You know what you can do. Okay, they just added on 20 more miles. Screw it. I can do it. You step into your power in a way that you know you're impenetrable, unstoppable. That's, that's been happening since the equinox where you feel, okay, you know, that, that density that was keeping you in, in so much illusion is, is gone, you know, and the veils just keep coming up, keep, keep coming up, technically gone already. It's our perception that is changing, but pay no mind to the folks on the side waving, you know, cups of Gatorade and flags and everything else, you know, they're just trying to distract. Stay focused. Stay focused. And you, you don't stay focused on trying to do something. 
You stay focused by, by being quiet, by being in that stillness, by listening to what it is your journey has in store for you, what, what your higher self is telling you in the moment. Not wait until after the triple eclipse, then everything will be great. It's always participation. It's always a choice. And it's always up to you whether or not you want to activate that stuff. I'm simply telling you what, what is available right now. So if you are so inclined as to continue to open gateways, do so. You know, gatekeepers, if you're, you know, on the, on the border, I don't know, I had this wild pearly gate experience and I thought it was a gatekeeper, haven't received anything. All right, this entire, uh, oh my God, it's almost an hour. This entire message is light encoded. Sit with it. Breathe it in. Connect with your higher self. Ask, what is thy will? What are we doing? You know, it's resurrection and ascension time. So here we are. If you are uh, called to participate, please do so. I know everyone's bored of the, it's going to be really strong, really powerful, really important. You know, at this point, you know who you are. And, and, and let this be the encouragement that you need, working with all these dear brothers all the way through the planet, working with the Pleiadians, Syrians, some, some folks, uh, uh, Andromeda and Arcturian, but, uh, but the Pleiadian, Syrian, Lemurian alliance, that's just, that's just my turf. That's, that's just what I'm working with right now. And those alliances, working with the native sites, because the natives had such a strong connection to that. Those of you who stepped in, you know, through those, those old journeys or are, are connected to that, understand these are the same folks, the same aspects of ourselves that we have been in communication with for years. We've been a little separated for a while, now we're getting it back, right? And it's not, we don't have to build the giant uh, crop circle kiva anymore in the middle of the desert. Uh, to communicate that way. However, if you go there, woo, yeah, it's pretty strong. But but again, you're standing around with a bunch of tourists, so uh, you know, give it what you got. You can do it right in your own backyard. I highly recommend that you use your creative intelligence and build something, light ground, something, a drawing, a crystal grid, a, a, a medicine wheel, a solar heart wheel, anything to bring in this energy with the intention of accelerating the shift in consciousness for all of us because uh, it's, it's getting very, very strong right now and you're able to experience not just zero point, the true reflection of you that is source, your pure source as self and it's incredible and all of your galactic friends are going to be very impressed. <laughs> So much so that they, they start signaling you in the middle of the night. But that's evidently a story for another video. I love you very much. Any blessings. <laughs>